All right, guys, what is up? Back with another video today. In this video, we'll be talking about SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SOFI, ticker symbol SOFI. I'll be giving you guys all new levels that I'll be looking at. I did already make the video, but then it didn't work out well. So the levels are already on here that I'm looking to get. And then, like I gave you guys, I gave you guys some old levels. We'll also go over. I am looking to buy tomorrow. I am looking to go a little bit heavier, but we're going to spread it out, okay? So make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you are new. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any updates and share the video out so we can spread that love. Now, like I said, talking about SoFi, ticker symbol SOFI, we did have a last defense level right around 1110. Okay, so let me just put it on here real quick. Right around 1110 is where we were watching out for, I think it was at 1120. Yeah, right around 1120. Okay. So 1120 is where we were watching out for for last defense level. I had it orange. The reason why is because when we had this pullback right here, notice how it hit that last defense level and then it went higher. So it was kind of showing a little buying pressure off of that, but eventually got weaker and start to break it. Okay. So that is the first bearish sign that I was looking at. Next, let me go back out to the 90 day, 30 minute chart. Next, we also had a resistance level above price uh, that was about like 1150 or so. Actually, no, the, the level was about $13 that I was looking for it to hit if that buying pressure came off of it, but it didn't get that steam and it fell. That's why I sold SoFi, if you guys remember, and I was looking for it to break and I was looking for put options. This is why right here, okay? SoFi was looking very weak. Now, I do have some specific things that need to happen for me to buy tomorrow, so make sure you pay attention. Let's go ahead and go over the back data real quick because they did do an acquisition. We'll go over uh, what they did, how it's going to uh, benefit them, and then we'll come back to the chart. All right, guys, so here we are with the back data on SoFi Technologies. First, short about 7.6, I mean 17.6% uh, shorted. Short interest about $95 million with the float about $542 million. Now, the acquisition they did, okay? So shares of SoFi has slipped nearly 10% today after the company announced that it plans to acquire the core processing company, Technosys. SoFi plans to purchase Technosys for $1.1 in all stock transactions. Okay, so it is new stock that they're putting on. Technosys develops core banking systems, which helps banks carry out their daily operations, whether that is processing a deposit or long tra loan transactions. Remember, SoFi did get the approval to start becoming national banks, okay? So this is going to help them out a lot, and we're going to get in the revenues and everything. Technosys is on the cutting edge of core banking software as a system is cloud-based and can support multiple financial products on one core. Remember, they did all stock share. Now, the company would not have done stock share if they don't see SoFi stock going up. That's one sign. Its technology also allows banks to process and analyze data in real time and makes rollout new digital banking products much quicker. SoFi expects, here goes the revenues. The acquisition to generate between 500 million to 800 million of additional revenue through 2025, so about three years. SoFi also expects the acquisition to create about 80 million of cost savings between 2023 and 2025, so two years, and then roughly 65 million of annual annual cost savings after, because SoFi expects to move several of its products over to the Technus core. On a standalone basis, 2025, SoFi expects the purchase of Technus to result in an internal rate of return in the mid-teen percentage range. Moving SoFi products over to Texas Core is a good idea. Although SoFi didn't have didn't have to buy the company to use its products, however, the addition of Texas will complement Helio, a payments platform it acquired in 2020. So they're doing a lot of acquisitions right now, kind of building out those national banks and stuff and increase tech platform revenue greatly, okay? The tech platform sets SoFi apart from other FinTechs and also creates a larger stream of enterprise clients, very true. The deal is expensive, which is why the stock is down today. Like I said, they produce some new shares and I'm very intrigued by addition. Create, blah, blah, blah. So that was really it. That's the main thing. Don't be need to know everything else is kind of extra, but that was the main thing of, I think why um, SoFi was down a little bit heavier today. It was a lot of new shares coming in, but I do like how it was shares more than cash because the company believed that the stock will go higher or they wouldn't have done it or they'll lose they'll lose 1.1 billion dollars if, if SoFi stock isn't higher than where it is now okay so just think about that so that was the back data you guys know video is sponsored by me all make sure you come get the buy and sell signals VIP is almost full okay 
original signals. You can get the buy and sells for when I'm buying and selling for options and shares. We also have a chat room. We talk in the markets every day. VIP, you do get this room and you also get your own Discord room. You get two monthly live teaching Zooms. We also have one today. 24 7 access to the crash course. So the crash course does come in the VIP. I'm also adding a new structure to VIP also. And with VIP, we're having new daily uploads on VIP. So VIP is going to have their own YouTube of my top plays every day in video form that they can watch. Okay. So every night I'll be posting my top plays in a video for VIP only. So it's like another YouTube of my top plays that you can look at for the next day. I'll give you key levels, where I'm looking to buy, where I'm looking to exit, all that good information only on VIP. Like I said, a lot of stuff is coming from VIP. That's why I'm closing it because I want a small niche of people in this group. So VIP is almost full. Make sure you come get your spot. And don't forget, make sure you get your Momo account. Second link in the description. We did start the Momo challenge today. So make sure you get your Momo account. You get up to five free stocks when you deposit any amount, but we will start up $100 and that five free stocks can even pay for your $100. So it's basically for free. Second link in the description, make sure you get it. And don't forget to subscribe to Will Knowledge Crypto, my second channel on crypto. I'm starting to post more videos, okay? Post a video on Ethereum, post a video on Solana. I think there are gonna be some big crashes coming soon. Make sure you watch those levels. And also make sure you go to my Instagram, will.knowledge, will.knowledge. I do have a giveaway on my Instagram. So make sure you go to the last post and join in. Thank you guys, and let's get back to the chart. Okay, so now we went over the back data. You guys know I am longer term bullish, but before I buy, you wanna make sure you have a set amount, okay? Depending on your portfolio, you wanna say, say you wanna put 3% of your portfolio in SoFi. That'll give you the amount that you can afford to put in SoFi, and then you're gonna spread it out. So say that amount is like $1,000, we're gonna spread it out. 50 here, 80 here, 100 here, 20 here, until we get that position and then we're gonna let the position ride, okay? I'm looking for over 200, 300% on SoFi that I'll exit out on the half and then I'll leave the other half to kind of run into the future, okay? So I do plan on holding a long time. This is a longer term type of buy. For smaller scalps, I don't see it yet, okay? Cause we're breaking down. So smaller scalps, I don't see it yet. These are all long-term buys. So let's go ahead and get into it. First level that I'm looking at is right around 1160. This is a resistance area of when price comes back up. I'm looking for resistance here. And if heavy resistance comes, then that's why I'm looking to get put options to go lower. Okay. Because those put options, whatever profit I make off those put options, it will go towards shares. So it's all working like in one big circle. Now, the only way I will not buy so far tomorrow is if this $10, 10 cents level does not break. So it needs to go below $10, 10 cents tomorrow because I want to buy it at all time lows. The $10.10 is the lowest SoFi has ever been. So this is the all time low. It did not break that today. The low was about $10.19, as you can see. I want it to break $10.10. That is when I want to buy. So if it does not break this and it goes higher, I won't buy SoFi yet. I'll be looking for price to come up to this 1160 area for a resistance and then getting puts there and then going down to the all time lows, okay? So we have kind of two ways of looking at it. The other thing that I'm looking at is if we go down to the 90 day, 30 minute chart, it seems like it's breaking down a little bit after hours too, which is good because I do want to buy it below all time lows. So say it comes, say it doesn't break all time lows and it goes higher to the resistance level and the resistance level does not show selling pressure and it breaks it. We'll be looking for a push up, pull back down. We're going to see if that area acts as a support. And if it does, then I'll buy to go long. Okay. So it's two kind of scenarios, but the best one that I want is it breaking these all-time lows that's what i really want that's when i want to start buying heavy that's when i want to start building the position so these are the main two levels i'm kind of looking out for right now on sofi if you guys want to update on sofi make sure you comment that down below just write update and i'll try to update you guys tomorrow depending on what sofi does uh because it could break it it might not so if it might not then i'll probably give you guys some new levels on it so make sure you guys smash the like button subscribe Thank you guys for being here. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.